Hello everyone and welcome back to Polynerdic Plays Life is Strange. I've got a couple hours to kill today, uh, maybe as many as four if I'm lucky, uh, before I need to have dinner and take a nap before work. Been really meaning to finish this game up. I apologize for Wednesday's stream only being about an hour long and not being able to stream yesterday. But uh, we're back today. Like I said, got a few hours to kill. Really want to wrap this game up. I have a feeling we're getting close to the end of episode four, so we may not quite get all five episodes in today and finished, but we're going to try. Um, if you were watching last time, you'll remember that we were investigating a barn that belonged to the Prescott family, and we had just found a, like a bomb shelter thing under the barn when I had to stop. So let's jump back into it and see where we're at. I apologize if there's any overlap playing things again that we had already seen. Um. But we'll see where we go from here. Yes. There we go. I thought that All right. only worked in the movie. That, that picked up perfectly. That's a great checkpointing game. Because that's right about the time I stopped. was right after we walked through the store. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. All right. Now what the hell is this? Get the food. More survivalist supplies. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. Survivalists. Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. All right, look at the letter. Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. Yep. Duct tape. Duct tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. I'd love to know how she made that connection. <laughs> Why duct tape in a bunker is always bad. Keep oh. searching, Chloe. Interesting art. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. That's a pretty good printer. That's a pretty spectacular photo printer. I'm not gonna lie, as someone who used to dabble in photography, I, I am um, kind of envious. That son of a bitch! Wow, 1.3 million. Orchard. He's, he's got a, a, a flair for the dark. He likes the dark art. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it's Kate. Oh my god. No. Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. Nathan's jacket. Has he been here recently? <laughs> what the hell just happened with the subtitles? Oh shit. That's Nathan's jacket. Has he been here recently? Jesus, I already hate this place. Oh, look at that. That's disturbing. That's an original signed illustration. <sighs> Fits perfect in here. 
I love the subtitle fuck up on the jacket. That's great. Somebody likes their whiskey. Lots of people like their whiskey. These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. Needles and drugs. Needles. Gross. This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. So who's using this fancy tripod? What's with the Prescott's and creepy art? Creeps. I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. Jesus, I already hate this place. Switch this one first. Holy shit. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay, a binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Let's keep looking at stuff. Oh my god. Rachel. Kate. Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. <laughs> Interrupt her own thoughts. This picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. Rachel is passed out and she has something in her mouth. This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. Kate looks so doped up. She has no idea she's being posed. At least Kate was asleep through all this bullshit. Yeah, sick fox. It'll be hard to figure out somebody was there considering the way they broke in. Chloe, slow down! Wait for me! I know exactly where I'm going! Look, this is it! This is it! Are you gonna help me, Max? Taking by hand, man? Chloe, I... stop! Look. Please, no. Oh. Oh. That smell! Rachel! Oh. Chloe. <laughs> Rachel, why? I'm 
sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. I loved her so much. How can she be dead? What kind of world does this? Yeah, I don't even have jokes for this one. It feels like an episode ender there. Huh? Well, I was wrong. Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. Line. I can't tell if they're different. What is they that? Can't be too Jesus, moved. Chloe, look up at the sky. Possible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you all right after today? I'm glad you stopped me. Nathan is dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> Pretty obvious. <laughs> if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh. Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. <laughs> text soon? Okay, Chloe, where the hell are you? Ugh, I hate touching all these clothes. It is kind of nasty. Plus some of the- uh, Hi, Stella. 
Hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. Why does Nathan creep you out? He should. I, I just want your reasons. He's a bully for one thing, and he hit Warren for another. But have you ever looked at his eyes? Glazed and raging. Me no like. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Who hired you? Mr. Jefferson asked me because he knows I don't have a lot of money, even with my job and scholarship. I'm not cool enough for this school. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Well, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. All right, so it's a curtain. Lady with a cup. Oh, that's funny without the music. Bunch of drunk kids around the swimming pool. Seems brilliant. Oh my god! Yes, yeah, music's awesome. Oh, man. We need to find Nathan and take him down. Bunch of people dancing without music. Oh, I'm shocked to see you tonight, Matt. But you deserve a party. Oh, this guy's... <laughs> Justin said somebody so saw nice two moons that were anime geek. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm a multi-purpose geek. You are. I'm glad I talked Daniel into coming. Like Just to see him flirt with Brooke. So Hi, Daniel. Yes! Max makes an entrance! <laughs> I only came to the party because of you. I'm glad to see you out and about. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott tonight? No, I've been hanging with Brooke since I got here. Max, are you okay? Your face looks so serious. We came to party! You must not have a beat! Uh, hold on. I can't see it because of a, a notification here. It's nothing. Um, it, it's nothing. It's just a... Uh, Residue from all the Blackwell drama. It seems like it never ends, huh? This is where it's going to end. For Rachel's sake. Oh, Max, you need a Blackwell break. I'm taking Brooke to a Miyazaki show in Portland. If you want to come along, the more the merrier. Thanks, Daniel. I have to stay on my mission now. I hope you stay on yours and become a great artist. Well, I'll be celebrating someday in a museum, Max. Adios. Are Daniel and Brooke flirting? Bre Hello, Brooke. Max, I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you... No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub. And his club. <laughs> but you're at their party. You're not the only one. Maybe this party will be the end of the Vortex Club. Then I don't have to pretend like I care anymore. Have you seen Warren tonight? No, I was talking to Daniel. He asked me to go with him to the Portland Art Museum this weekend. Oh, um, that, that's so sweet. I bet Daniel will be a great museum guide. I'm more into science than art, but what kind of a selfish fangirl would miss a Miyazaki exhibition? You're not selfish, Brooke. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. 
Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, the night is still young, Brooke. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. No one seems to know where Nathan is. Is he hiding or something? Energy drinks, soda, energy drinks. I know somebody has the booze. No shit. There's Courtney drinking alone, without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. I just wish someone would kick Nathan's ass. School days. Luke, I almost didn't see you. Max, you're the only person I don't mind seeing right now. I was looking for Nathan. I've avoided almost everybody here tonight. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? I want to make sure he's not going to do, do anything tonight. Like what happened to Kate. I have dreams that somebody finally kicks his ass one day. Luke, sometimes dreams come true. Today I saw Warren give Nathan an epic headbutt. Yes! Give it up for Brother Warren! Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town! I think Sean Prescott wants to drive all of us out of town. Or into Pan Estates. I met him once at a Bigfoots game. Mean fucking bastard! Oh man, he explains Nathan. Preach it, Brother Luke. Okay, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. No, thank you! For helping Kate and for keeping it real. Peace out. I don't remember this guy at any other point in the game. Bigfoot on otter action. There we go again. Saving Alyssa. Alyssa, incoming! I'm on it. Of course, my object angel has stepped up every single time to protect me from the cruel world. Thank you again, Mystic Max. This is being I'm surprised for that. to see you here. Alyssa, I have to find Nathan. Have you seen him? I really don't know, but surely in the VIP section like it's a New York club. Thanks, Alyssa. Watch out for yourself. Why, when I have Max Caulfield at my side? Good luck. Look at Alyssa shake that booty. She's standing still. Yes, you do suck. Why isn't Courtney guarding the list for the VIP section? What would a shitty party be without glow sticks? My thoughts exactly. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? Sorry, but I'm on the list. Okay? I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. Where's Courtney? Is she over here by the bar? Hey, Courtney. How are you? Max, our guest star arrives fashionably late. <laughs> Say bonsoir to the end of the world. Even though you flaked on my party makeover, you still get special access to the Vortex Club VIP lounge. You better let your minion know since she won't let me pass. Oh, that little asshole just made her last mistake. She thinks she's Victoria. <laughs> bye bye 
Now, let's go make an official VIP entrance, Max Factor. <laughs> Get it? Hey, Sarah. Um, do you know that I personally put Max's name on the list? So, you like decide to block her from coming in while I'm taking a break? <laughs> you're not in charge here. Wait, I, I just... Uh, oh my god, you're done! And you're off the list permanently. Welcome to the Vortex Club. Just weird club name. There we are. God, are you mental? You can't come in. All right, so I do gotta go do this again. Worth a try, I guess. <clears throat> hey, Courtney, how are Look, the VIP area is even lamer. Nathan is the Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. She's wasted, and nobody is looking out for her. Nobody learns at Blackwell. Or is everybody a here? A bomb. Give me a break. I am so wasted. Surprise, Hayden was trashed. He would dose his own drink first before anybody else's. What's up, Hayden? Oh, uh, look. Up in the sky, it's <laughs> Supermax here to save the party. Have you seen Nathan? I just vaped some dank OG buds, so I can barely see you. Or are these hotties next to me? You want a hit? No thanks. Come on, come on. I would kill to see you baked. Get that stick out of your ass. You need to get high more than anybody I know. Next to me. Not this week. So, has anybody here seen Nathan? I guess you have to go ask everybody here, or you can sit down and take a quick hit. Hayden, does Sean Prescott pay for the Vortex Club parties? What doesn't he pay for? The Prescott's shit money. How else could we afford DJ Doomsday to spend? The Prescott family is literally making you dance. Whatever. I'm in this world to have fun. Try it sometime, Max. I finally get you and Dana to come out to a Vortex Club party, but you just want to lecture me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Madsen. How much fun did Kate have at your last party? Listen, Hayden. Just watch out for Nathan tonight. I think that's your job, Max. Come back when you're ready to have fun. Hayden's an idiot. Taylor really shows her Vortex Club spirit. Oh my god. Max, seriously? What are you doing here? Taylor, have you seen Nathan yet? If I did, it's none of your business. This is a VIP area, so you should get back to the bleachers. Just keep on dancing for Victoria, Taylor. And stay away from Nathan. Like, thanks for your concern. Keep dancing for Victoria? Chips and crackers. Spare no expense, Vortex Club. So the Vortex VIPs get real alcohol at their underage bar. Again. Very I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. So Should I warn her? No, wicked. Logan, you are not getting any action tonight. Or even a dance. Oh. Logan, can I talk to you for a second? Max, all right. I'll talk after you shake that booty for me. Ugh, oh, no. Have you seen Nathan? I can't even get Victoria or Taylor to twerk. And you want to hang with Nathan? Why? None of your business. Oh, 
Max is dropping serious attitude on the dance floor. Logan, this is a swimming pool. In other words, you haven't seen Nathan. Ask Victoria. She always knows where he is. Why don't you ever want to see me, Max? You're so cute, and we never really talk. <laughs> talk about what? The next Bigfoots game. We could go out to the field. I could show you some moves. Give you a touchdown. Logan, don't make me hurt you. Damn. That was way more exciting than a dance. Catch you later, Max. Here's the queen bee. I'm glad Dana ended up with Trevor. You dance worse than my dad. I love dad. that Trevor doesn't yes. care how goofy what he dances in the VIP section. <laughs> okay, now that's hot. Yay, Max! I can't believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. As you can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> look at Trevor trying to bust a move. You guys look really happy together. I think we are. <laughs> He's so different than Logan. We actually talk about life. And he knows how to be safe. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. The Vortex Club is also enabling him. I know. Juliet wrote a story describing it like a cult, and I'm starting to think she was right. It's not fun anymore. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. <laughs> Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. <laughs> The boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. That VIP section is so lame. I heard they wouldn't let Kate Marsh in the Vortex Club. So Juliet hooked up with Zachary again? She better be careful so he doesn't pull any revenge for her or something. Zachary, if you mess with Juliet, I will kick your balls on a loop. Oh, that makes me want to pull a carry on the Vortex Club. Why? Because they're making fun of selfies? Kate almost dead. Rachel dead. Enter the Vortex Club. Look at these entitled assholes. They don't give a shit about anybody. If that tornado came right now, I would just sit here and watch for a while. But I have to make sure Chloe doesn't go on her own rampage. <sighs> I hate feeling this way. Dark and angry. I had to walk all the way to the farthest corner of the party to have that moment. Where she sits down and does her monologuing. Yeah, it makes me uncomfortable too, Max. The Vortex Club actually hired DJ Doom for the party. They called him Doomsday a minute ago, which is it? I don't know, Victoria, it is. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, me, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's 
It's a fucking party. Everybody is wasted. What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. Well, you got Nathan busted out of Blackwell, so you should be happy. And I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. This is bigger than a problem, child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager <laughs> at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and, and he's famous. On point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't either, but that's the choice you make. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. No shit. Do you think it's like fate we're not supposed to be friends? Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Mm, we're gonna warn her. Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace dark. What? Nice try, Max. But I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know yet. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not, but you have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him. And stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. They bonded. Thanks, oh. Victoria. Au revoir. All right, just for a second, I want to hear what this music is. Maybe, maybe there's hope yet for Victoria and me. I'm glad I warned her. I hope she's okay. All right, let's see what this music is for just a second here. Right, about what that I expected. son of a bitch is not here. Nope, not master volume. Music volume. Where are you, Nathan? I better get Chloe. An oxygen kit. That oxygen kit might come in handy if somebody binges. Oh, good. Chloe's here. There you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the lockers. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it, Max. Oh, uh... Creepy hey, teacher Mr. guy. <laughs> Are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh... I was just 
looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. Well, I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, look, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about it. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent actually. Blackwell Academy, and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Come on! Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Mr. Jefferson, it was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. <laughs> she is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. <laughs> Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. How unsurprising a plot twist would it be if Nathan's not oh the Christ. bad guy and it's Nathan the teacher? Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. One of the moons disappeared. Stop stomping around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. All right, here we go. Can we control back, please, game? Thank you. It's like until dawn. Shine the flash on us. Nathan needs to die now. Oh, for God's sake, Chloe, you have to be quiet. We could die, okay? All the time. All right, I got about ten minutes for the for the uh, break. So creepy out here. If you're yelling, please. Max, please hurry. Oh God, Max, look. She's still there. That may not Don't have been the look, evidence he was Chloe. talking about. You... It just... And you've never undug enough to even prove that it's her. <gasps>
Right in the head. Knew it. Fucking knew it. Big plot twist game. Good job. It's actually fucking disappointing that it was the creepy teacher guy all along. Oh, son of a bitch, that, that twist pisses me off. Did I not just call it five fucking minutes ago? All right. Um, I was going to take a break in ten minutes, but since this episode ended just now, I figure it's a good time to take a break. And when we come back, we'll kick up the final episode, and maybe in the next three hours or so, I'll finish it. And we can put this game behind us uh, now that it has utterly disappointed me by, by going the obvious route with having the super cool photography famous teacher guy be the creepy bad guy pervert murderer. Uh, yeah, they were just leaning too hard into Nathan being the bad kid. Not that he's a good kid, but they were making they're just leaning too hard into him being the villain. Uh, fuck. All right, so I'm gonna play the. Uh, the next bit and uh see where we go uh thanks for watching um make sure you also check out at polynerdic on twitter polynerdic on facebook and polynerdic.wordpress.com if you're watching this on youtube also check out twitch.tv slash polynerdic underscore sy for the live streams and if you're watching this live right now uh, i'd like to thank you for watching and i will be back shortly with more <laughs>